what up fam this is agree to disagree hit that like hit that subscribe hit that follow turn your alerts on we're talking eagles post game to commanders seven to one let's go what's up my family listen first time listener or you've been here the whole damn time hit that like hit that subscribe giddy up let's go no notes that's my, I'm baby. Dying. I'm dying. That's my baby. baby. We're going at it at 110. <laughs> percent I just want five minutes of happiness, please. Just give Don't me five breathe. minutes. They, 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 they did it. Are. They yeah. did it. What? What the <laughs> hell was that? Oh yeah. What the f are you talking about? Welcome in, everybody. This is Agree to Disagree, only on A2D Radio. And every Sunday, we are brought to you by our doc. Make them yours. Dr. Paul Vidal, Specialized Physical Therapy, LLC. Locations in Burlington, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Find them on the web, SpecializedPhysicalTherapy.com. As always, Brian Wilson, Greg Milakovic. I'm Tom Arnone. No Nick Delgazzo tonight. He'll be with us next week. I'm sure he's winning. Guys are out there winning, you know. Good times. Must feel good to win out there, you know? <laughs> so he's probably happy he's missing it for tonight. But we pushed it up a little bit. Instead of bringing you post game five, six hours later, we're going to bring it to you a little after the fact so we can talk a little bit more in detail of it and talk more with emotion with everybody out there. We're also brought to you by our good friends over at Royal Billiard. And you got to check them out, Royal Billiard and Recreation. Okay, they're the premier game room store in the Delaware Valley. They're stocked with the very best in pool tables, accessories, shuffleboard, dart supplies, bars, bar stools, turn any ordinary room into an extraordinary gaming experience. Oh, do we mention they have hot tubs too? Perfect day for a tub, right? Stop by Royal Billiard, located 515 Bethlehem Pike, Colmar, PA, or visit them on the web, royalbilliard.com. So, almost dropped a too early joke right there. I had to stop myself. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you stopped yourself. I'm glad. So am I. He's all growing up. <laughs> yeah, I'm growing up right, right in front of our face. We got a lot to talk about. Crumb of the week at the end of the show. Trade deadline week in the NFL is Tuesday. So the trade deadline is Tuesday in the NFL. What else does Howie have up his sleeve? We'll give you our players of the game from Eagles Commanders today. Our main topic at hand, Eagles Commanders post game. We'll dissect it. We'll go over it. We'll talk about it at the end of the day. We're 7-1, and one, and we'll talk about that as well. Our poll question, though, is brought to you by Baggio's Bread. They're located in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Home of the best stuff. The right tomato pie sandwich is cut with meatballs. You mentioned HUD Radio. You get 10% off your in-store order or poll for tonight what a perfect what a perfect night for it aj brown is the best wide receiver this year in the national football league do you agree or disagree let us know facebook youtube twitter that's where we're live everywhere you get your podcasts we're there as well hit the like subscribe follow join the conversation most importantly and tell us how you're feeling tonight right before you even get in aj how are you feeling at seven to one because you know I see a lot out there. I know you guys do as well. There's a lot of negativity surrounding a seven lot of to negativity. one. Like you would have thought that we just didn't shut down the most high-powered offense in football last week, right? So everybody's like, "Oh, this defense is a problem." Like, come on, this is what Washington now has a sample size of two games versus us, and Sam Howell and that offense have been able to sort of put points on the board, right? They've been I mean, good. not sort of. Oh yeah, they've been know. able to put points on the board. But the last three drives, <laughs> right? The last three drives are what's most important. We'll get into those last three drives. I mean, missed some open guys last couple drives, but yeah, I hear you. Well, guys, miss open guys. I mean, with Sam, Sam Howell, uh, Peyton Manning for the first two and a half quarters, he was like 19 of 20. I don't know what's yeah, going man. on. But again, <laughs> you, you slowed down to it and a way better offense last week. I mean, Washington just plays you a certain way. So, you know, and that's fine. Like at the end of the day, at the end of the it's week, how everyone should play us, really. <laughs> Well, I, I, mean, feel like, I feel like we just – you know what it is? Washington utilizes the middle of the field against us because we can't cover – our linebackers can't cover nobody. Yeah, I, I don't know if they necessarily use the middle of the field against us more than somebody else does. I think it, a lot of this stuff comes on matchups, right? Like they don't know Sean Desai more than they know any other defensive coordinator. So it's not like Sean Desai has been here for a while and his scheme has been here for a while, right? Some teams just match up personnel with you really well. And I think Washington always matches up personnel wise with us really well. They got a they got a defensive front that can stop the run, right? They have an offensive line that, you know, even though they gave up all those sacks, I said it on Wednesday. Watch, this is a game where we'll get like one, where we won't get to them. And here we are, just like just like the last time we played them this year. So I mean, I look at some teams, it's just like, hey, they're matchup nightmares for you for whatever reason. 
throw the records out the window. It doesn't matter, right? It just doesn't matter. They're going to play you tough. And Washington's one of those football teams. So at the end of the day, you know, you were raised a, a rival. 14, yeah, you were raised a 14-3 deficit. You come back in a football game. You shot yourself in the foot twice on fumbles inside the, the, the two, the three, whatever. Okay? You know, that's hard to win. So the fact that you go find a way to win today just goes to show you how – goes to show not you, but everybody – how good of a football team this really is. So that's why, like, you know, is there things that correct? Yeah, there, there's always things that correct, right? But I'll take the last two wins we had, you know, a, a, any day of the week. You know, not oh, perfect. Win, win's a win, baby. Win's a you win, know, for and, sure. And our offense looks continues to look better. So, all right, let's get into A.J. Brown. He's the best wide receiver this year in the National Football League. Do you agree or disagree? Let us know. Um, you know, I know Slay said um, earlier in the week that he would put Tyreek one. All right, but you know Tyreek. Tyreek's awesome. Don't get me wrong, but this guy some kind of different players though. You know, yeah. Then it's hard to like go against each, like have them go against each other, right? Like they really are one A, one B. Whatever one you really like better, but like just say outside, you know, outside of that, because somebody might like Tyreek more. Whatever you can even count Tyreek into it. You know, I just think AJ's game is just proving why it's he's the best in football because he really is always open, even when he's not. Like you can throw fifty, you get you're not throwing fifty fifty balls at Tyreek Hill, right? You're not, right? Every time the guy runs a slant, he's open. Every time the guy runs a post, he's open. I mean, everything he runs, he is literally the definition of open. So, I mean, I think he is, and because this year you're talking about this year, I mean, he just broke Calvin Johnson's record. So, I mean, it, anybody else do that this year? I think he still has less yards than Tyreek currently, but <laughs> but but Tyreek yeah, also but hasn't not, done that not by much. I mean, Tyreek has over a K. I know that. He's like the first one of four players ever to have a grand in eight games. And, and the other, all the other ones are way, way, way old, I think. And oh, boy, crazy legs, Hirsch. But you take me, what wide receiver would I rather have? I'd rather have A.J. Brown. I think uh, – I, I tend to agree with you, Tom, honestly. I like the physicality of A.J., yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I'm a big fan of uh, he's going to box you out and he's going to get that ball. Like, especially in the red zone. I know Tyreek has a ton of touchdowns, but most of them are, are long TDs where he burns the defense. Uh, AJ is catching them four, five-yard touchdowns where everything is tight. You know, it's it's tough to score. Everything's tight down there. That's a guy I trust throwing the ball to, even if there's a guy on him. Like you said, a 50-50 ball. I'm not sure Tyreek's getting a lot of them. Maybe he's getting fades where they're trying to beat the guy to the corner, but he's not getting 50-50 balls where we're throwing it up to him. AJ is getting a lot of them. Both of his no, touchdowns today. No, you know he, he is. I mean, he's just a problem. He's a problem to guard. So like, he's the most unguardable player in the National Football League because Tyreek is too, right? But it's like different. Because again, yeah. I can go, I can go fade around the back of the end zone, and I just got to throw it up there, right? I got to trust he's going to make a play, right? And and you know, and and the things around guys help too, right? Obviously, right? When you have a guy like Devontae Smith around them, it, it helps helps both players out. But no, I mean he's the he's the best player this. He's the best wide receiver this year. In he, I think he's the best. I would say I know we had To, and they're very similar, actually. Um, but I, he might be better. Than he might be the best wide receiver in Eagles history currently. Like, and not even just currently. Like most, maybe most talented. I might say most talented wide receiver in Eagles history. Yeah, I, I have a. It's, I, have I mean, a it's time. it's right there. I have a hard time disagreeing with that, right? Yeah, you know I mean, like the more I think about it, there's been some electric wide receivers here in the Sean Jackson mm -hmm. and. Terrell Owens for for twenty one games and mm -hmm. you know you know what I mean uh, Alshon yeah, Jeffrey when he was back, here like, Jeremy Macklin was a really Car good Macklin, receiver Carmichael yeah. Carmichael but, but, no one, but even a guy no like we want to hold on even a guy we want to Super Bowl with like Alshon who had that 50 50 ability who who was special but he and wasn't he special close. though yeah no he he close, but he was special. though no no but let's be fair for a five year run he was oh he was Is very it? good but he wasn't this kind I mean I just no 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 I'm saying like he was he was he was a legit one, and this oh, guy, yeah, 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 yeah. and this guy's I mean, way better. Five thousand five, yard seasons, I think. Five one thousand yard seasons. Yeah, so time. this guy makes yeah. it like this guy makes him look like he can't play, or he's yeah. slow, or he's you know whatever the case may be. He looks him makes him look like he's not, you know, not a top tier wide receiver when he played because Alshon was wherever you wanted to put him. I mean, he was a top ten wide receiver in his heyday year in year out. And I right? also in think football, that AJ right, might be. You disagree? Yeah, absolutely. No, no, so, no, not I mean, at all. That, that to me, when you're when you're an all pro level wide receiver, you know, when a guy makes you look like like you're just average, right? That tells yeah. you all you need to know about AJ. That's my whole that's my whole point there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've, and I think AJ, uh, like he might be okay. Some I know people are probably saying Tyreek, his speed, his speed. Now his speed plays over everyone in the NFL. That's just fact. It does. But AJ might st- he might also be the best with the ball in his hands because he breaks tackles. He runs like a running back. He breaks tackles. If he might, reminds me of like Debo two years ago when Debo was just he got the ball to him, he just broke tackles after tackle. Debo's been banged up, hasn't been the same type of guy. AJ looks like that guy right now. He's that guy. You get the ball to him. He's gonna get. He's gonna get yards. Guys, don't put him down. Well, Philly sports, real quick. Philly sports is big. Like we're talking about this year. So the polls this year. The polls not like who's a better wide receiver in their career or anything else. Like we're talking about this year. So I mean, I mean, Tyreek's fan- having a phenomenal year. That's great. I still would take. I'd rather. I think it's like you said. Tom said one A one B. Yeah. To yeah. me, to me. It, I would think I'd go, I might take AJ over, especially like, if I'm like, starting a team. Yeah, because like the problem the problem we're trying to say is like anything I say is not or any of us is not a shot at I feel like it's easy. Tyreek. Not it's easier, but it's easier to take Tyreek away than it is to take AJ away, in my opinion. Uh, because you can hold him Tyreek to do what we did last week where he caught like nine balls, but only for 80 yards because he yeah. kept dinking and dunking. He ain't gonna break a bunch of tackles doing that. And he's probably going to get banged up like he did last week against us. Yep. You do that to AJ, he's going to break tackles and still have his kind of day. Yeah, he's just a specimen. It's different. I agree. Yeah, AJ's, AJ's one of those few guys left in the NFL where you could throw a, you know, a, a, a 10-yard slant and he could take it to the house, right, as opposed to you know the long passes, which he does very well as well. But, Wils, as you said, he likes – he's not – He's not afraid to get physical. He's not afraid to go in the middle, break tackles, and he's always looking for more. You know what I mean? Some oh, of the, yeah. you know, if you if you look at previous years when he had fumble issues, it was because he's trying to look for more. You know, but he's one of those few guys. You know, Tyrese on that list as well. But he's one of those few guys. You run a five yard, ten yard slant, he and he he could take it to the house. Absolutely. Definitely run, definitely run blocks better. Exactly, nerdy sports guy. Exactly. Yeah, he, de- he definitely runs blocks weather better. And Tyreek can take a slant to the house, no question about sure. it either. But you know, AJ can run through you and take one. So they're just listen, they're different style of players, but their impacts are are the same, right? In terms of their production and what they're going to give you in different ways. You know, when I'm building this team out or I'm building a team out, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the bigger body guy. He's gonna help my quarterback a lot more. Than, than just a speedster or the human joystick. You know what I mean? It'll just help it a little bit more. That's and I'd say the third it. guy, if you wanted to argue, that the third guy I'll even allow to be brought up is probably Jamar Chase. After that, I think everyone else is a tier below. Yeah, I mean, and, Jefferson's and even, there when he's healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jefferson true. went healthy. That's true. And he's even not he healthy, might, though. might be a tier below just because of this year. You know what I mean? Just because of the Bengal struggles. But I agree with you from a talent standpoint. Yeah, I mean he's got. I mean he had like 19 catches the other the other week. But yeah, I hear you. I mean I think yeah. he's having a pretty damn good year though. But the Bengals aren't having a great year. I give you that. Yeah, yeah. It, Jefferson again. Yeah, like you said, Tom, out, out being hurt. Jefferson's the other guy, also in that in that conversation. Yeah, and if he wasn't hurt, he would be in it, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe maybe he is. Maybe we're saying he's the best wide receiver this year because that's what the that's what the conversation is. Right, it's yeah. not like all time. It's not who's better. It's like who's better this year. Yeah, right um, now. And like I said, when you got when you take a when you take a Calvin Johnson record away, like that's through six games. I mean, when's this game? When is this going to stop? Is what I'm going to say. Oh, it when, not. when's he not going to have 125? I mean, unless he drops some balls, like or or we just don't go to him, like when he was pouting in like game two. Uh, I mean. If we keep throwing the ball, he's going to catch the ball. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> After his power, our offense has been better. Like, yes. getting him the football is not a problem here. Like, I want no, to okay make that clear. I'm all right with it. I'm like, okay I with want it. him Marshall, to want the football. The last, the last thing I goddamn want out there is for me to have a football player that doesn't want the football. Yeah. Because, that, like, as a skill position guy, like, I hope you mm-hmm. want the football. People have people. You're... Yeah, I'm not going to tell you he's perfect or anything else, but I would hope you want the football. Good to see Devonta come off the milk carton and have a big game. Yeah, it was needed for morale for him too, right? When there's not yeah, 100%. enough, there's not a ton of balls to go around here, right? So you know, you want it, you get a guy touch, and and the Julio, Julio's big too, right? I mean, yeah. when you look at when you look at that you was know, a great another, catch by him too. Great well, catch. Well, that's what you would expect from a from a future Hall of Famer, right? Yeah. That's a big body again. He just brings you that other element now that down in the red zone, like 
you do have to sort of pick your poison on what you want to cover. And Julio is not what he used to be, obviously. I right? feel like that's how they're going to use him mainly. It's kind of like how they use him today. Kind of a big guy go up and get the ball in the red zone because they're still you using him like KSS another tight end. deep guy. You almost use him as like another tight end down there over the yeah, middle. Exactly. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like at this point of his career, you're not going to run him fades. You're not going to do that stuff, right? At this point right. of career, you want to get him in the middle of the field and it's another big body target for your smaller quarterback, which for any smaller guy having to see over big guys in front of you, you know, the easier guy to see is always, I mean, it's just, it's not a shot at jail. That's common sense. The either mm-hmm. guy to see is a big body. So uh, now you got him and you got him and Goddard over the middle. I mean, listen, this offense is, has taken a, a turn for the better um, here recently, which is so important, which is so important. You know, I get, I get less than the fumbles got to get cleaned up. The turnovers got to get cleaned up. There's no question about that. Right? Yeah. That, I mean, that's our biggest issue, but you hope all, you get all these out of the way early. And it sort of evens itself out here, turnover differential. But, I mean, your turnover differential is, like, either plus one or minus one for the season. For the season. And you are a 7-1 and one football team. I want everybody to wrap the damn head around. You're a 7-1 and one football team. Okay? So, you beat a damn – I don't want to hear who you played. Didn't play. You played a damn good team last week. You played a team that always played you tough this week. It's the NFL. You're 7-1 and one with that turnover differential. Now, listen. Coming up, it's officially Dallas week. So coming up on the Cowboys here, you can't be doing that shit. Like you don't want to, you don't want to be turning the football over against a good team, right? Which they are, and a team that plays us tough. So I mean, it's going to be a big test for us. We'll get into that later on, but you know, some oh, oh shit, what a play! Sorry, <laughs> Cincinnati Bengal dude just picked it from like one one foot in front of his face when Purdy tried throwing it. Didn't get there uh, yet. Cool. Thank you. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> what a play, though. Oh, my God. I couldn't believe he caught it. <laughs> oh. Guess, guess is this play coming up? <laughs> yeah. That's a great play. Stay in bounds, bro. You know what I mean? Like, get your yeah, feet right. Stay in bounds. Yeah. Remember when, Brock Purdy, remember when Brock Purdy doesn't turn the football over? Oh, concussion. Everyone, play, everyone will tell you it's because he, he was post concussion <laughs> last week, right? Yeah, I just, oh, I just said if, it. If you oh, pre concussion, he was great. I said concussion. I said concussion protocol talk, right? Like, I mean, this is this is one hundred and one. That's me. the funniest shit I ever heard. By the way, shut <laughs> up, shut up with. I mean, it'll be shit. big if, since he can beat them. With, wow, like, what Dallas, a play! That's a quick Dallas coming replay. up for That's us this week, play. you know. But um. Yeah. Some takeaways. Well, you know, what are some other takeaways you have from this football game, guys, and everybody out there? Join. I might trade for a linebacker. That's a takeaway I have, but I mean, I know there's, I know there's talk of it, but I, we just can't cover. I like them coming downhill and run in run support. I, we can't cover anybody in the middle of the field. Yeah, middle we of the field wide open. You we can throw slants on us all day long. You can just yeah. keep throwing slants on us all day. I think that stuff's going to get better though. Right. And I say that because like you just, you had two new safeties playing today. Just hear me out. You're running zone coverage. So you, you got to understand this. You're running zone coverage all day. You're not man and man and linebackers up. You're not man and man anybody. No, I agree. So when but you're we, running but, zone, hold on real quick. When you're running zone, you're allowing, in my opinion, always, you're allowing a quarter. I would never run zone with this front, ever. Ever would I run zone with this front. Because what I'm allowing is a quarterback to get in the rhythm. Right? I'm not telling you yeah. you can't get a rhythm in man, but when I got to bump you, I get physical with you, the type of corners I have. They can the get safety, rid of it quicker in zone for sure. Yeah, the safeties I have, you're setting Sam Howell for success today. That's all you're doing, and I'm not. And I'm not going to sit here and crush Sean Desai because he had a ga- great game plan last week. But this week, I thought his game plan, and he probably wins zone. I'll tell you what: when you got two new starting safeties per se, you're going to probably run zone. That that because you because you're worried about getting beat over time. And McLaurin okay? has a history of beating us. I feel yeah, like. yeah. When you don't, because that's the problem. When you don't know when your safeties are new. Well, one's brand new to the, the defense, and the yeah. other's a rookie. The last thing you want to do is have them wonder who they got, right? And that's why you're going to run zone today. So I'll just chalk it up for that. That's why the middle of the field's open. You run zone, you're allowing the middle of the field to be open. So I don't even look at it as much of a shot than linebackers because you got to remember, there's different guys covering in zone all the time. What what layer of the zone are they hitting us in? Are they hitting us 10 yards deep in that zone? Which they were. Well, a lot of their plays were explosive plays in the zone. So you're hitting the safeties. And you're hitting the corners on that, and you're probably hitting linebackers that aren't getting enough depth in their drops. That's what you're getting on there. Yeah. So not an excuse, but I thought our linebackers were great last week. So 
That's also the evidence. Whoa. They, they, last week, they were all over the football field, sideline to sideline, the Kobe and Cunningham. And I thought Cunningham running, run defense and some other things. I thought he was all over the field, too, today. So uh, he, I mean, you know, Cunningham played better than the Kobe for sure. Yeah, I don't think I it's like, like a, I don't think we have a huge linebacker issue per se. That it's then like when you run zone, you're allowing the middle of the field to be open per se. You're giving you're giving bigger windows. I run zones against. I'll give like, you that. I, I run zones against guys that move around. Like again, probably their thought process. A guy like Sam Howe, they want to keep eyeballs on him. Now the other side of that, Wills, is when you talk about okay, guys are uncovering well. In the zone, who who's got Q, who's got QB spy there? When you got a guy who can run like Sam Howe, so that's probably the other reason they don't want to play man today. Is they feel like, well, if I play man, I get I I don't get eyeballs on the quarterback, right? I'm getting deep here. I don't get eyeballs on the quarterback, and now he can go and escape and and break 20, 25 yard runs on us. Which he did last time watching. we played him, right? Which he did last time. To your point, yeah. Yep, just a, like a Sean Desai excuse here, but yeah, that's my reasoning for today is is Bayard Brown, who you know Brown played good, but like Bayard Brown, and you don't want a quarterback, you don't want a quarterback rushing all around on you. That's my yeah. guess. And too I much next cushion. week against too much Dallas, cushions. there was too much cushion today. Yeah, next week against Dallas, I got to get I got to get up on, in physical on people. Now Kevin Byer has another week. If Sidney mm -hmm. Brown or whoever, um, you know, Reed was back this week, obviously. Um, but I guess that what they did is they they were rotating. I thought Sidney Brown played pretty well today. He made some plays. Were they rotating Brown and and Byard, or were they? I think were they, they were. Running? Yeah, okay, I, I, I didn't. Like, I didn't see Byard on the field as as much as Reed was there all the entire time. I was going to say I don't know how much Byard played. I saw Brown yeah, a decent amount. I saw Byard a okay. couple, but I didn't see him. Okay, so maybe it's a Sydney. Maybe it's a Sydney thing on why they felt uh, one of the reasons on zone. Because I know, like they always talk about, not here, but just in general, like how hard it is for a rookie safety in this in this league. Yeah. Um. So, may, like, maybe I don't know, but either way, you know, we don't have to play this football team anymore this year. Thank goodness, because they give it. They, they we get in dog fights. It's always a dog fight with them. You know how it is. It's been that way now, for years. Now you're looking for a linebacker before Tuesday. I'm just saying that I heard talks of a calls. <laughs> that might be a position I would look at. <laughs> You heard talks. People, people have been talking. People talk? have been talking. Who I don't talk? know. I just, I just look on online. Ah, okay. Everybody well, talks there. Everybody talks online. I thought you're. But there's people guy. talking about the Vikings. That, the Vikings have won like three games in a row. I don't think they're going to be trading people. Well, they will. Well, Kirk they might Cousins now. They're Kurtz out. Yeah. Maybe they trade for a QB. <laughs> Maybe we can ship a Mariota. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My my takeaway is from the offensive side, and, and I, I brought this up, you know, a couple weeks ago, and and the offense didn't look good for a lot of, the, you know, a lot of the first half, you know, the the disparity in, in the run, the pass, and, and we, we, could, we could go a whole hour just on, you know, some of the nuances of how bad the offense looked, right? But at the end of the day, we won and we scored 38 points yeah. with, with two fumbles inside the five-yard line. Right, so I, you know, I, I think to you, Tommy, you mentioned this a little earlier, right? We're starting, I think, to find our stride. What, what I like is to run a little bit more early, sure, but hey, it's just, it's just how the game plan won. went. Do I think it was criminal when we got the ball back on, uh, in the fourth quarter with fourth and thirteen that we only ran the ball once, and then we threw two times to give them almost four minutes left? You know what I mean? Down, you know, down a score. So, do I think that's criminal? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, we still won, and and we still put up thirty eight points. So, you know, I, I think some of those offensive uh, deficiencies that we've seen in the past are starting to get better, and it also helps to have a guy on the outside break a break an NFL record going for one hundred twenty five and 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 two tutties. Uh, for, not not necessarily two tutties, but one twenty five for six straight weeks. So. That's definitely got to help the offense for sure. Yeah, and I yeah. don't know how I don't know how inefficient we were early, Greg. We just kept turning the ball over. I mean, we went down the field yeah. all game. We just we have to we have to limit the turnovers. We just didn't sure. run the, the ball. Turnovers are I, mean, I think issue. at halftime we had what four actual run plays. Yeah, well, we haven't been running the ball at all. I mean, that's I agreed. We no, we agreed. throw the football. I that's will say I I'm a little with... nervous that I mean he's playing through it and he seems fine and he threw the ball he threw the ball well today. But Jalen is banged up. You can tell he can't. Yeah. He can tell when he tries to run that he's that he's banged up. Oh my god! Something on his legs bothering him. 
Oh my god! Hopefully, that doesn't get worse. What are you on? Yeah, what are you watching, Tommy? Not the Niners. They pick him off. Well, no. And Jamar Chase had it. He was running, and he like fumbled it right into the other guy's hands. Oh Jesus! Oh sh- oh wow! Great. Shit. Ah, that might be incomplete. And then he fumbled it. Oh my! That was God. almost a great catch. I was way behind him. Oh, uh, be my my biggest takeaway is just the way Jalen played. You know, even though he is banged up, you know, it's important for him to look good for us, right? Yeah. And I think he keeps looking a little bit better as we go here. So not a not a bad thing. Yeah, and that touch push fumble was a fluke. If you, I think, pretty sure if you watch it again, when he's when he's going to move forward and bringing the ball up, he hits it off of uh, Dickerson's ass. And that's what makes him drop it. Yeah, I'm not. That that one doesn't. Yeah, like. I mean that's a. That, I would say I still think that that's a that, that's a phenomenal play, and I would run that play call again right there. Yeah, now no, the other no, one, I don't know no about Gainwell. I don't like Gainwell in inside the the five anymore though. Like, why do we keep doing that? Give the ball to Swift. No, so, what I would say is Kenny made no a couple of nice plays out, a uh, couple of nice receptions and runs, but I don't know why we're handing the ball. Uh, off in, inside the red zone. I just don't like that. Yeah, fair, especially after a fumble. Um, yeah. But no, I just I just thought the no interceptions was a big part of it. You know, what I liked about Jalen's game today. No, for sure, it's huge. Because when you fumble the ball twice, you can't afford another turnover. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm not saying Jalen fumbled it twice, but as a, especially inside the five. And, and yeah, Wells, I, I'm, I'm with you. The, the ones that, I mean, we're kind of, we're all kind of used to the the running back shuffle, right? And the running back, you know, rotation, right? So I, I get we all get that, right? But the ones that kill me is like, you know, you drive down the field with Swift or whoever, and then in the re- inside the red zone comes the other guy. We're like the the from twenty to twenty, we just moved very well with the other guy. Where's this? Where's this new guy coming in from? And that's that's usually where it falls on, on Kenny to come in and he doesn't always make the plays, but last week, you know, he did. And yeah, I, I don't, the one thing I'll say run the about ball enough to really worry about it, to be honest with you. The one thing I'll say about him is he's a great, he's a great pass protector. So, you know, there's a lot of negativity in the comments about him and I get it for sure, but that's what they really like. About yeah. That him. when you, when you fumble inside the five as the backup running back, that's going to happen. There's going to be some negative comments today, I would assume. But, yeah, I, I don't hate Kenny. Uh, it's just I don't like him in that spot. I'm okay with him as pass protector. I'm okay with him on third down. He's, he catches the ball pretty well out of the backfield. Mm-hmm. Made a couple guys miss on that one, like, 20-yard catch he had today. I mean, I don't hate Kenny at all. But Yeah, he was 5 for 30 in passing. Yeah. He was 2 for negative 4 rushing. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like, you know, they're – they're not going to give Swift like 30 touches. You know, no. And out Kenny there, so. apparently is still fat, I guess. Yeah, but they just like Kenny better. You know, and, and that's that's fine. They're around them, right? They would they would have that answer more than well, we would. Well, Boston was on the field for a little bit today. Yeah. So maybe he's getting to work back in. I've always been a Boston Scott guy. Well, he's a tiny guy. He's kind of like a, you know, different kind of guy. But, hey, I've always been a Boston Scott guy. And he's a tough-nosed he, little fucker. He caught that one ball early for, for the four yards, but that's all he was targeted. That's it. Yeah, I, I don't think I think that I don't know if I've only, ever seen him. Anywhere. I was gonna say that might have been the only time he was in the game, Greg. Right? He was in for one series. Yeah, and it wasn't even like the full series. It was just until we got the first down, then he was out. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Boston would be better in the red zone at times, just because he's smaller. He can hide behind guys a little bit more. Um, so I don't have a problem. Well, we haven't played anymore. the Giants yet, so I'm sure he'll get in the end zone at some point. That'll be that'll be his coming out party <laughs> yeah. for sure. <laughs> Marshall, I don't think that's going to happen. I, you say like, you well, know. they just—I think they announced they're not going to trade them. Well, they're not. Granted, I, I, I don't know if how true that is, you know, but they did announce that they weren't going to trade them. And then they went out one today, so you'd have to think that. Yeah, and they gave him the ball a ton. Yeah, yeah, I think he had like eighteen rushes. He might have had more, just I under a had, tutty. He had a hundred, or I just think. under a hundred. I think he actually went over at the very end. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Last time I checked, he was like 87. I needed him to have a I, touchdown is what I needed. But <laughs> I love these calls for like a running back and stuff. Like we don't run the ball anyway. Like we don't run the ball enough anyway to go out and get I, I, yeah. like another high leverage back. If, if anything, we were I would a just running give the first ball to Swift football team, <laughs> if we were a running first football team, I would understand the calls for a running back. But bringing a guy like Henry in, what is he uh, going to do? We don't run the ball. Custom protocol, Tommy. 
Another? Concussion protocol! He had another right. one? Or it's Brock? coming. Oh, my goodness. Another one. That one was right to the linebacker. Let me see. <laughs> here, we, here we go. Oh, good ball. Good ball. Hey, Kyle, you loser. Why the hell is Zach Charbonnet in? Had a few Charbonnets. What of it? Oh, wow. You got to <laughs> see that guy right there. I he didn't even see him. A lot of leaks. Why? Anyway, no wins. Who, you have Charbonnet? Yeah. Not as our <laughs> starter. Yeah, Don, I don't team. know. Don, I don't know if he's playing. He's questionable. And I think he's going to play. Yeah, the, like, they say he's going to play, yeah. Even if it's like 25 minutes, he's playing tonight. And he's only questionable because of rest. So it's stupid. Touchdown. It's stupid. Ooh, um, Cincy. Jamar uh, Chase, Bob, Tuddy, Tommy. Bobby Tommy asked where the backflip. Bobby asked where the, um, you know, where our, <coughs> our defense went from last week. Um, well, I, I just think it's like a low avid flow, too. You know, like Sam Howe. Sam Howe, I think, is going to be a decent pro. So. You know, part of me thinks like he's going to have games where he looks good, yeah. right? Especially if you give him time. And I thought they had a good game plan. I, I don't think our defense went anywhere. I really don't. I do think if there's additions, it's going to be defensively. You know, I could absolutely see them adding another, another, another defensive lineman of some sort. I could just see it. You know, it's just their their mo. Um, yeah, that is their mo. Know, are they trading Slayer? They're not trading Slayer Brad, Bradbury, but yeah, could they no. get could they get deeper on the outside? Maybe. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but Bradbury hasn't looked good for weeks. No, uh, just, uh, just uh, honestly, Greg, it's just too much cushion. Now, yes, it last it worked great last week because that's a team that likes to go over the top on you, and we were able to stop them from doing that. Um, didn't look great this week. Like, the, yeah, the, when we when when we allow them to get the field goal right before half, granted, it was a sixty-one yarder. I, I, everyone just hits every kick against us. I know it's going to be good, but fifty-six <laughs> backing up to sixty-one, it doesn't matter. It's good. Joey Sly, get the fuck out of here! Yeah, but, right. yeah. but seriously, like we're we're playing. You know they need 15 yards to get in field goal range, and we're playing 20 yards off coverage. Like uh, what? You're just letting them get in field goal range. That's the kind of shit that I hate. Yeah, I mean, I I guess the thought process is I will rather give up a field goal than a touchdown over the top. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we got good corners. Like if we're that worried about them, then maybe trade for a corner, like Tommy said. We're that worried that we're going to get beat over the top that we had to give 20 yard cushion. It's a matter for sure. I thought Eli Ricks made a couple plays today. Yeah, he's made a couple plays. For yeah, he's been on the field the last couple weeks. I kind of yeah. like him. I kind of yeah. like that Ricks. Um, they're definitely a guy I liked. You know, just another guy from those schools, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, guy who has to cover guys like that in practice every week. You know, just makes just you better. Oh, shit. Makes you better. Um, Bobby, I just think that, like, I, I hear you, but I also told you, you probably weren't here Wednesday night. Um, but I said, like, I got a feeling they're not going to get to him like that. He was getting the ball out quick early, you he know. Did, so when you're getting take, sacked that much, two, I think he took two uh intentional groundings that should have been sacks, right? But yeah, I mean, I agree. He we didn't get to him as nearly as much as the other teams have for sure. Sorry, Tom. No, no, no. I mean, you're right. That's all. I mean, I just don't, I mean. I don't chalk it up to like, like you know, whatever. It's a problem with us. Like sometimes you got to chalk it up to like, hey, that team made adjustments to get the ball out of their quarterback's hands quick, right? Even more so, he's been sacked a ton. And now you're playing this front, you know. And then I guess no Jalen Carter as well, you know, with back spasms. Yeah, you left. So I know, saw you, where he got hurt. It was did you, did you see that, Greg? Where he like I missed that. He had came across and hit the uh, running back. Somebody had him low, and he hit him high. And you could see as soon as he landed, you could see he was he like looked weird on the ground. I was like, I think he might have got hurt. <laughs> and then and then they were like, Yeah, Jalen Carter might not return. I was like, Oh shit, he did get hurt. That was early in the game too. So you're right, we didn't he didn't really play much. Yeah, so you lose him, you know. So I mean, I don't know. I just think sometimes it's like Evan flow. Like that team's going to do what's best to get the ball out of their hands. Doesn't mean it always works, but they did. You know, that's why I would assume that they're going to have that kind of game plan for this week, and that's where I would match them more with man, you know, because of that game plan. But guess what? It is what it is. We got out with a win. Yep. You know, hopefully we saved a few sacks for next week. You know, at home, first Dallas, Cowboys coming to town. 
Um, but let's do that. So let's take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we'll get into our players of the game. We'll talk a little bit about the trade deadline with you. And we'll give you a real early preview to what's coming up. And that's Eagles Cowboys next Sunday, 425 from Lincoln Financial Field. So that's it. I mean, you were talking about a monster game coming up. Big game. Big game. That is monster talk. So, you know, it's I'll exciting. Maybe, maybe we save some. So disagree, disagree. We'll be right back. Royal Billiard and Recreation proudly celebrating 40 years and our new bigger showroom. Twice the size and twice the fun. More pool tables by Olhausen. More dartboard sets, including custom reclaimed backboards. More bar and kitchen stools that can change a room. And more bars, including pre-built and custom. Hot tubs, ski ball, shuffleboard, outdoor, and fun. Royal Billiard and Recreation, your ultimate game room store. Now located on Bethlehem Pike in Colmar. In our family, food is our daily bond. My nonna, affectionately called mama by many, found solace and joy in the kitchen, sharing her love through delicious creations. She turned her culinary passion into a flourishing business alongside her husband and sons in 1983. Celebrating 40 years is a testament to our exceptional team, friends, family, and beloved customers. With gratitude, we look forward to the future, expanding our brand to share the highest quality Italian food and wine nationwide. Our heartfelt thanks to everyone who has played a part in our story. Grazie mille. Hats.com is the premier destination for quality and fashion forward hats and more with designs for every style and trend. Locally based and run by Philly sports team fanatics, Hats.com can help you elevate your hat jaw. Utilize the easy-to-use guides at Hats.com to find your perfect size and style. And shipping and returns are free. Hats.com. Find yourself in a hat. Use code Philly for 15% off your order. Hats.com. Welcome back, everybody. Agree, disagree, HUD Radio. I'm Tom Arnone, Greg Mwakovic, Brian Wilson. No Nick Delgado tonight. He'll be back with us next week. Uh, this was Eagles Commander's post-game show. So we dove into a lot already. Our poll, if you're just joining us, real simple. A.J. Brown is the best wide receiver this year in the National Football League. Do you agree or disagree? Um, we all agree. Um, Tyreek's right there. But we we all agree. Um, and that's not a shot at Tyreek because we think he's sensational. All right? I mean, if anybody does it, they're a moron. So we're not here to call you a name, but we will if we need to. Yep. Yes, we will. We are also brought to you by Carlino's. Okay, if you've not checked out Carlino's Market, you need to. Location in Ardmore and Westchester, PA. Go check them out. They're the best in the business, all right? And like I said, if you're around Mount Laurel, you go to Baggio's. If you're around Ardmore or Westchester, you go to Carlino's Market. So make sure you go check them out. And we're also brought to you by Hats.com. Use promo code Philly for 15% off your order at Hats.com. And you can also buy... The Brian Dawkins, same hat Brian Dawkins wore at his Hall of Fame induction. So go check out hats.com. Use code Philly for 15% off your order. You know, we're here to take care of you. We say it all the time. We're big givers. You know, that's my wife. Uh, <laughs> Chiefs just fumbled a punt. Oh, that's my fun. God. That's fun. So we didn't get into what the one thing we did not get into yet was our players of the game. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll leave some things uh, for you guys. But offensively, um, I'm going to go with – I'm going to go with jail offensively. Um, you know, I just thought – I thought he was decisive when I actually – like I had the game on the radio for a while because I was kind of coming back from Long Island. So I had – you know, I had Sirius going. So I had, it on the, I had it on the radio for a while. And then as soon as I could get it on my phone – I swapped over so that, you know, I get peekaboo once in a while. Um, and he looked decisive. And I think that's the most important thing, decisive on time. And, you know, his, you know, th- we saw that from five back in the day. Five got hurt. We remember it, right? And that Arizona game, he stayed in the pocket and he threw it all around the yard. And I think mm-hmm. sometimes that's, that helps a quarterback too, uh, just getting the rhythm. And I thought he was in good rhythm today. I thought they had a good game plan today. Um, you know, Brian Johnson deserves credit for today. I mean, they scored 38 goddamn points. Jalen Hurts deserves credit. 38 points. I mean, he could have had 50. So, I mean, offensively, there's nothing to complain about about besides turnovers. And yes, I can't have the fumbles down there by either guy, 
my biggest takeaway, like I said earlier, from Jalen is no picks. The no picks is so important to me. Um, and then you sprinkle in everything else. Today. I think he had a 76% completion percentage. Um, that's money at a 135% QB rating. Um, that's money. So yeah, 29 me, for 38, 315 and four. Yeah. yeah especially when you, you go down 14, three, you know, like all, all, in a hostile environment against a team that you normally don't play great against like uh great, great game out of him. And, and, and most of his misses too, that weren't drops, right. We're in spots that it was going to be either our guy or nothing. Right. You had the Zacchaeus touchdown that was just outside of his, or, you know, the ball to Zacchaeus in the end zone that was just over his hands. Right. You had Swift on, on Jim on Davis down the sideline again, just outside of his hand. So the ones that were, you know, misses were in good spots. Now there were a couple of drops, but that's not necessarily on Jalen, right? Those are on those guys, right? I think Dallas had one that he probably would like back, uh, you know, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, Tommy, to your point, you know, I thought he looked really well. Uh, and like I said, the ones he did miss were in good spots. Yeah. 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 He missed ones in good, in good spots. So, you I mean, you'll, you'll take this day out of them. Um, Marshall, I was reacting to the uh KC uh fumbling inside the 10. That was where that open faced yawn looked like. McCaffrey okay, NFL. just scored KC. again. Who scored again? McCaffrey. Does he do? I that? mean, why am I not betting him to score two touchdowns every week? I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, he's only it's only plus 300. But still, it's like a guarantee. Uh, my, I'll go to yeah. my game ball. I'll go the obvious and AJ. I mean, that's not going to leave that that elephant in the room very too much longer. I mean, what I mean, he's if you doing, didn't take him, I was going. To. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what he's doing is obviously historic, right? It's special. Uh, and, and and you know, early on, it didn't necessarily look like he was on pace to get there, right? But then then he you know. Scrambled drills, he pops open, and, and as he, you know, he's always open, and he really is. So it's 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 fun to watch what he's doing, and that and that touchdown catch was incredible. That one handed catch was incredible. No, oh, dude, I mean that's disgusting. He almost had a second one when he got interfered with. Almost caught that one one handed too. Yeah, that's disgusting. Like that catch is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> All right, you got guys that ain't catching that ball with a Nerf ball. Like you know what I mean? I mean, I no. make that catch on cast all day, but that's literally, <laughs> that's literally what it is. It's I was, like I, I knew that was gonna. I knew you were gonna be like, you I know, mean, my truth more than anybody guys, in the world. I knew not, not. I knew as soon as you said, yeah, guys ain't gonna make that catch in there, but you're gonna say something like, well, not me, but some guys. I, I knew. It was <laughs> I was clarifying. Clarify, like I, my kid's not getting baby. He's gonna get. He's gonna get pushed around the yard. So when we go up for 50-50, don't think you're coming down with it. I just you consider that great parenting. Yeah, I, me too. We're, we don't give not, fucking, we don't give awards out for second place around here. Don't give out no. trophies for second. No. no, you know you're good. Absolutely you not. stop me. You know you know you start getting better. You stop me. So when I yeah. take you in the post outside on the basketball net, you know how you get yeah. better. You know how you get better. A little strip, right? A little, <laughs> a little, little, little tip drill, right? Whatever, whatever the case may be. And you know, you know, same thing. Listen, don't even get me started on the hard parenting. I'm a big fan of it. Don't even get me started on the on. on if I and didn't then once coach, he beats if, once he beats if I didn't coach baseball, you just don't play anymore. Okay, we're done. If I didn't coach baseball, I would probably to say he would have a tough sports life. So the fact that like I coach it, I won't be as hard on him. If that makes sense, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I see it from the other side of like the dry jock. I I see dry jocks a lot, right? You know, in terms of like, you know what I'm talking about. Yep, Greg's been there, so. And, no, and especially you more than like say me per se, like because you've had a lot of younger teams, right? And I, I should There's like I, dudes and don't you learn, right? There's right, like no, yeah, yeah. Well, but, just, but you've but I'm saying you've seen more daddy ball gr- coming up with your teams than than I did, right? Yeah, yeah you had like I didn't, I didn't older, have very but... many. I didn't have very many young teams. I had usually well, no, even teams. like sometimes older ones. You know, but, you get guys behind the dugout. Too. Behind, you know, behind the backstop, yeah. I mean, listen, telling them, t- like giving them tips before they're about to hit. Like, bro, <laughs> there's enough things that they got to worry about when they go hit. Is it really relaxing? <laughs> like, you know what mom and dad are there to do? Sit in the stands, enjoy it, and watch and cheer. That's it. You know, Absolutely. and I learned that because I would be the guy. Wilson's been a part of it with my sister. I was right? there. Like, I was at. I'm the, <laughs> I was a guy who would tell you get the y'all would yell from 300 feet away to let you know 
that I need you to get that bunt down and you didn't just get down. That's how I used to operate. I've grown. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've grown. Now I just have hey, play. Bro, it's growth. It's all about that, growth. That, that, hold on, hold on. That's the other side growth. of it, though. If I coach him, it's a problem because I do it to my own players. Like, I, <laughs> I had a hit and run miss today and I went ballistic. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely ballistic. Twice. Missed twice. Like, now you're going to hear from me. First time, I sort of give it again. We'll give her again. Second time, we're all, we're after you. Who missed we're it? Both you. guys or just the one? Or just the hitter? Uh, the runner the first time and the hitter the second time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> yes. Uh, defensive player. Defensive player. Well, who's, who's your offense? Did you give one? Well? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I get chance. Uh, what, what do we, how do we go to there? Like, I don't even know how that just happened. I forget. Uh, oh, we talked about uh, AJ's one handed catch. AJ, yeah, it all started yeah, with a nerf. Catch. It all started, it all started, with, started a nerf with a nerf. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It's like that. That's a, that could be like anyone. Our, that could be anyone our age sports life. All started with a nerf ball. I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll just give it to Devonta because, like I said, he's been kind of big on the milk box last couple weeks and had a big game. Seemed caught everything thrown to him today. One he of did. them might seven have been a little seven. skeptical whether he caught it or not <laughs> on the fourth down, but we'll take it. They didn't review that it, so we'll take it. Good call. Um, uh, and then, obviously, big, the game, big, obviously big, big, tu- big touchdown. So, yeah, uh, Devonta, big game. Seven for 99 in a tutty. Yeah. Big game. Yeah, much needed, right, for him. A much needed game defensively is where it's hard, right? Defensively yeah, is like, right, who, are you, who are you giving? Who are we going game balls? I thought Hassan at an all defensive lineman was the best today, so I'll give it to him. I thought Fletcher had a great game too, but um, in a different way. Like Fletcher ran down some screens, he did some things on the football field that might not go as he was visible, right? Yeah, but, um, back to back to the old Tommy. Hey, I need to hear you or see you a hundred times a game, right? <laughs> that's a sign right now, right? He was there, as, but that is yes. Yeah, as they've gotten older, that becomes a sign and not as much on Fletch. Um, and he was, he was, his sign was visible today. So, um, I'll go with Son Reddick. I like that one. Uh, especially he he kind of uh kind of sealed the deal at the end there too. His son did. Yeah. Uh, closer, closer, closer. Talk. Uh, I I mean. I felt uh, it coming tough. too, like, like I felt it coming, like when they took over. I'm like, come on, like, there's no better time with that play. There's no better time for sack. Bro, that Let's slap get down. Home. That Let's slap get down. Home. And oh my god, did he ever get home? That slap down is like flat out disgusting. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a, his ability to like one hand slap it down, and then while you're while you're getting the while you're getting low, and getting that low leverage is just filthy. And then you know, like, like no Smith is watching it. He doesn't no. lose speed at that, too. That's the crazy thing. Almost makes As he quicker. contorts his body, he stays in, in impact speed. It's crazy. It's awesome. Don, I don't, Don, you know me by now, Don. Don't start trading me with Darius Slay. You know what I mean? Like, they could trade Slay tomorrow. I'll be okay. So, you know, but, <laughs> you know, it, it, I, again, I don't want to, like, I don't want to act like the guy isn't a really good corner, though, either. You know what I'm saying? Like, as much as I don't think he's, like, all pro first teamer, I still think he's a good corner. He's a good, right? Veteran. So, you know what I mean? Like, I, like, to be fair, like I, I still think he's a good corner. I just don't think he's as lead as people think he is. That doesn't mean that I don't think he's good. I think that's where we get not done. Not. I think that's where we get a misconception with players. Some people are going to have him at a higher level than others. That doesn't mean like I don't think a player's good because I don't think they're a first team all pro. I think he's an. I think he's like a Pro Bowl corner, right? Like a fan vote. You know what I mean, per se? I don't yeah. think he's, like, if you vote players around the league, I don't think he is, like, a first-team all-pro guy. Now, could he be a third-team all-pro? So, you're talking about, like... Yeah, six, seven years ago, he might have been. Might have been, yeah. But, like, he's very good. And there's nothing wrong with very good. Right? He'll have his moments where you'll get a fountain of youth and he'll have a monster game for you. Oh, you know, I thought last week against Miami, he was great. Yeah. So, he's going to have his ups and downs as an older guy. Bradbury, the same way. You know, Bradbury had a chance for a pick six today. He drops it. Like, you know, so those guys are both older. But we knew that coming into it. So, yeah, yeah if, now Denver's going to probably win this football game. And if they do, you know, I you know, I don't think Patrick Sertain's up for biz, open for business because now they got three wins, right? And they're, they're, you know, Sean Payton's trying to trying to build something. I don't know. You go trading, you know, young, impactful players. Great time. Great time to live back Kansas City after Tom just said that they're probably going to lose. Just to well, I mean, everyone watching. If somebody's going to blow a game, it's De- if somebody's going to blow a game, it's Denver. So, Seattle just Seattle just won. Well, well, 
didn't win, but they took the lead with 38 seconds left. I mean, I would love Pat. Patrick was like my one of my top three players in that draft. So if you can go get me him, I'm I'm a big fan. That's a hold. Oh, they let him push him in the edge. Of That's a hold. Holy That's a great hold. Are you kidding me? How how um quick question. Oh no, there there he is. Never mind. I was gonna say, why is Kenneth walking on the field? There he is. Never mind. Yeah. That's such a bad. I can't believe that's not called. That hold. Who's wow. that going to Bobo? Is that Bobo or is that Injigba? That was uh, Jackson Smith and Jake JSN. JSN. Oh my. Jay, I'm not like I'm not a slay guy. Jay, just let you know, like I'm not a slay guy, and he hasn't been good this year. You're right. Not yeah, to the level agree. that we would hope. I mean, Bradbury's probably been worse than him. Yeah. So. Listen, one, you know, at the end of the day, we got two solid corners. It could be worse. Yeah, it could definitely be worse. Um, well, it could be because we, we could be really young back there, right? I mean, that was the, that was what we were looking at in the off season. Right? We went from not bringing back either to bringing back both. To bring back know, both of them. I mean, it's two guys who started in a Super Bowl for you. And listen, locker rooms matter too. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't want to go start trading two two veteran guys in your secondary. When you're seven and one, and with like, all that, you're still seven and one, Tommy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, that, that's Hanson. Like that's a fireball offense. Like if I'm Nick We're Sirianni, still seven and one. If I'm Nick Sirianni, bro, or showing the side, I'm blowing up on Howie Roseman. I, he don't, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I probably find, you know, I, I probably be out front of his house waiting for him type game because that's not going to fly. Like we're seven and one. You're trading. You're trading impactful veterans. Yeah. Like no, we're in win now mode. Yeah, yeah, so, you can't do that. So, like, yeah, we're – like, this is clarify to people. We're in win-now mode. The yeah, Rogers we're talking Super Bowl. I mean, we're talking about Super Bowl. Yeah, you know, the Rogers are not going to be this great three years from now. I mean, maybe it will because of the way we've been drafting. Maybe it will be. You know what I mean? You keep drafting like this, then sure, all bets are off the table, right? But, I mean, listen, we're fine. We are fine. We're oh, actually, my gosh. We're actually way past fine. That's a great we're, ball. We're, we're, we're delicious right now. We're 7-1, and one, and we haven't even played that well. Yeah. 24 has got to catch that ball. Who is that? Sky Moore? You bum. It That's is Sky Moore. Great throw. What a what great throw by Mahomes. It's funny, Will. He's got, uh, nobody, he's got nobody. He's got nobody to throw the football to. That's too, that's embarrassing way. right there. On fourth and two, that's a great ball for a tutty. Well, if they don't make if they don't make a move, like that's a football team that needs to make a move for, for a playmaker. And I know it's like against Andy's like MO, but you got to go get that guy, like the close thing to a number one wide receiver. You can get him. Like, like if you get, if you got him, that it's over. You oh see, you couldn't put it in like hands the fact that he, the fact that he just has to have a tight end, like, and Andy's let it go to that. You know what I mean? Like, it's my only gripe on Andy. You know? Yeah. No, I think like he's, he's making it harder. He, keep, he keeps trying to get. He keeps trying to like fool everybody by getting this fast little guy in the third round. Like, go just draft the wide receiver. You have to it good doesn't wide help though that he that fifteen's making forty five fifty million a year though. You know what I mean? Like that that well when you're the best help. in the business that 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 goes with it. Oh, that's a good. I ball. agree. Wow, but that's also probably part of the I'm reason why that. why they're they're struggling to find guys. But Wills, I wanted to uh, go real quick. The Kobe D had twelve total tackles, eleven solo. Zach Cunningham had five and three solo. So I know you were you were kind of iffy on the on the linebackers, but no, I said they can play the run well. They From come up. They didn't come up and tackle. They had, they had a pretty good day. And Nicobe, two tackles for loss. So uh, they can come up had, and had tackle. A, yeah, had a pretty good statistical I, day. Right? I will agree with that. Even Sidney Brown. I, I, I guess Kevin Kevin Byer played a lot more than we thought because he had four solos, and seven total today. Well, that's good. So I guess he played a little bit more than we thought. Well, that's that's well, good. That's, I mean, that's good. And I didn't really get his, hear his name much, so he wasn't getting yeah. burned or anything. I mean, look, he's an elite. All over the he's field, an elite but. safety in this league. So, like, I don't. I mean, give he a shit was right very him. elite a few years ago. He's definitely over thirty now, but he's still. I think he's still definitely upper cal upper echelon, and he's a veteran, which is great he's, too. He's thirty, so he's not like. Is he exactly 30? thirty? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I still think he's an elite level. I I think you don't see it as much, but look how tough that fucking football team is down there. I mean, they oh, yeah, stink. no, for sure. They stink. And, and he's Rabel coached, and he's coming to like where he's coming to. I think he's going to make plays. I do. I do. Give him some time. He's going to make some big plays for him. I still think he's at that, that like elite ish level, right? Maybe not like fully elite, but elite ish in the right spot to at 30, right? Yeah. You know, I don't think he's on the downside of his career yet. 
Like two, two, three years from now, yeah, we can have that conversation that, about him, right? But like, and we talked about this 18, Wednesday, Tommy, 32, 33. Yeah, you you might have been you yeah. might have stepped away on Wednesday when we talked about it, but he's he's signed through 24, 2024. But next year, I think he's got a nine million cap hit. So you'd almost have to assume that with this trade, probably comes a restructure and a small extension. You know what I mean to get that cap hit down. Uh, so it'll be interesting yeah, to see because because he's got or a big cut. cap hit for next year. Yeah, we got a lot of guys signed next year. Um, like outside of like Kelsey, right? A lot of guys. Yeah. I feel like Fletcher. No, Fletcher signed a two year deal, didn't he? I think so. I think he may have. So like like maybe Kelsey BJ. I don't know what their deals are, but um, like that's it, really. I mean, I have to go look at it, but I don't think we have a lot of guys that are like up for it next year. Like what was Bradbury one yeah. year deal? Yeah, he was I one thought, year. I thought, was it a one year? I was I thought it was one two? year. Maybe a, I, I thought, thought I one. think Slay is a multi year just because it was the extension. Yeah, and they were able to spread some of that money out. Yeah, I, I, I agree. But no, I. I but I thought he was 31, 32, but yeah, I mean, being only 30, it's going to be, yeah, it's, he's going to have a couple years left of hopefully. Even a $9 million, dollar, even a $9 million dollar cap hit isn't like horrendous. No. But I, but I guess, you know, it's a, whatever. I mean, it's a nice that you made a trade and it's not just for this year. For sure. Right? You made a trade and you, you got a guy here for another year. Cause again, the window is always like three, four years. That window to how many, how many nets can you cut down in that period? Yeah. As someone that owns George Kittle, I'm loving the fact that San Francisco is throwing the ball to him every play right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my game ball, because it helps seal the game, will go to uh, go to my buddy Reed. Uh, falls into my uh, my bull prediction. Motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> he did get a little used and abused in the first half. I ain't going to lie, but he came through uh, with a big pick there at the end. Hey, did. Well, yeah, he did. He did. He did have a big pick at the end. I mean, I guess I'll give it to Fletcher. I thought Fletcher played well. Yeah, they have a good pick. Yeah, yeah, I think I thought Fletcher played well. Fletcher's played well all year. I think. Uh, I mean, you we know, said Fletcher's... we said this. We said this going into the season. Sorry, Greg, but uh, I feel like with the fact that. He doesn't have to be the guy. Doesn't have to play eighty five percent of the snaps. It's definitely helping him because uh, he's he looks more fresh and he's he's played well and he's and he's been on the field, which is more, most important uh, mm-hmm. for the majority of the season so far. So uh, hopefully Fletch can keep it going. Uh, no, big consensus. No, was, so, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Greg. No, I said all I was going to add is you know Fletcher's active when he has a pass deflection, right? You know he's active. So I was just reiterating yeah, yeah, Wilson's sure. good pick. Um, and all the comments back to the poll on like your post on Instagram, et cetera. A lot of people agree with it. Nice. So just, you know. It's just so physical. It's the, the physicality of him, I think, is what I would maybe put some slightly ahead of Tyreek. Now, it's like, it's what flavor you like. If I got a huge arm to QB, maybe I want Tyreek. But- uh, Kai, Kai, not year. Not, uh, Kai year, not yet for Devonte. Um, he's got another year. And then, another and then year, I think, right? Then yeah. he's due for the extension. So. There's yeah. still some. There's still some time with that kind of stuff. Not saying they don't want to get him. Not want to say they don't want to get him. You know, extended, etc. But Baltimore's throwing the football right now. I got Arizona plus nine and a half. Well, I got Baltimore. I got the other side. So keep throwing the football. There's Baltimore. no time. There's no time. They have no timeouts <laughs> left. Just kneel the ball. <laughs> Fucking Josh Dobbs got a got a backdoor cover for you, you jackass. <laughs> First off, they went for two when they didn't even have to. I don't know why they did. Uh, I did you see me pump? I was like, they're going for two. No, Arizona. It should have oh. been 24-14. They, I would have still not been covering, but they went for two to make it 24-15. Throw the flag. Catch the ball, Odell. Oh, it's first and goal, dude. They're going to score. They're going to score, Greg. You're going to luck out. All right. I, uh, I haven't lucked out very no, much Jay, this weekend. Jay, we're not doing Sixers live reactions. We'll get to that as the season gets a little bit more going, right? Um Still really early, but good win last night. Hopefully they come back, take care of business against a team they're better than again tonight. Um, so 
it's just nice to have, you know, it's just nice to have basketball. I'm a basketball guy. So I like just, I like watching basketball, period. Um, I know some people on this panel are anti NBA a little bit, but I just enjoy basketball. I mean, I, I like bet it every, I, like, I bet, I, I like bet it every day. So I do watch I it. I bet it. I yeah, just don't. Yeah, I like the sport. <laughs> I like the sport. What do you want me to tell you? I like the sport. So, you know, I like, like basketball like, oh. as well. Oh, good. I definitely, I definitely prefer college over NBA, uh, but. Tim, uh, the, you'll get, you'll get, listen, we're going to be reshuffling a lot what goes on here at A2D. So, um, a lot of these reactions you're looking for, uh, guys, rightfully so. Um, some dedicated, some more dedicated shows to those specific teams. Um, you'll be seeing so a lot of stuff be rolling out here over the next uh, few months um, that I think you guys will like out there. So, um, but no, you can catch uh, Hockey Happy Hour on Tuesdays. They start at seven thirty. So anytime the Flyers are live on a Tuesday, you get those guys, um, and they'll break it down for you. But looking to looking to do some some different things. So stay tuned. Yeah, that's all. Hit the like, subscribe, um, stay with us. Fly guys playing a little puck. Watch out. Watch out. Martian BG has puck. a half sack on the season and recorded zero stats for today's game. The locker room guy at this point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Her, lock, Brock Purdy, lock, another turnover. Locker room guy. He's almost an extension of another. He does an extension of another coach, over. guys. Oh, right. He's back. almost an extension of, of your coaching staff at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So running to your offensive uh, lineman one time. And Robin Uber's Smith, really, get out of the way. Oh my god, you guys are just fucking live reacting to Sorry. Red Zone. I mean, it's we're everywhere. We're everywhere. Yeah. Uh amazing. Now you're falling into his his bad Uber habits. Uber can Greg. score, Jay. That's for sure. You know, now Greg's falling into Wilson's bad habits. I mean, I once in a while do it, right? I mean, you guys are reacting on like every ball thrown. Like, oh, how do you do that? In right now. Yeah, Greg's the one that's like, doing it now. This is what you started. You created a culture. <laughs> All right, that's the culture you're creating here. Well, this, that's I, a downward spiral. I am. I'm trying to trying to find. I'm trying to find dubs for my bet. It's, it's right at the end of the fourth quarter. No, I, we got I will we're, give. We're get heavy gamblers. Well, let me give some credit. I mean, Denver Broncos deserve some credit. You yeah, know, playing got, good ball today. Good for that. Well, bo- good ball recently. Yeah, you know, after getting sixty put up on their ass, you know, seven, um, seventy. Sorry, I was being nice. That's a, that's a face mask. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, all right, let's. We got through that. Trade talk. We talked a little bit about the deadline on some things they could do. I mean, mm-hmm. we'll see. I'll never put anything past Howie. So we'll see what's up his sleeve. If anything, they might be done, right? If the right thing's not out there. Either way, I'm not like, I don't care about the trade machine when I'm seven and one. Yeah. And you upgraded the team already. I mean, I would say the buyer, buyer's an upgrade. So see you, Tim. Already did. Thanks for joining us, brother. Tim, thanks, brother. Yeah. See you, Tim. Uh, so now we'll get into our crumbs of the week. And if it's true, if it's true, which I think it is, if Kenny Kenny Gainwell really took the time to respond to somebody on Instagram mm. in his DMs at halftime of a football game, like that's crumbish. Like, you know, I, like not that you didn't play well after the fact, because you did. It's almost yeah, it's cuttish. A, it's almost cuttish. It's almost, yeah, like, it, and I'm not looking to move on from Kenny. Like, I don't dislike Kenny at all. You know what I mean? But like, like rabbit ears don't fly, babe, in this city. Like there's certain cities you can rabbit ear it in, and you can get away with it. This is not the city to have rabbits. You know what I mean? Like some cities love rabbits, right? This is not the city to rabbit ear it in, because they because we will chew you up and spit you out the second we know that you know, right? The second we know that you know, that that's no bueno for you, Ben, for any player in this city. Right, Jalen Rager got got smoked because we knew he knew, even more so than he stunk. You know, I don't think Kenny stinks, um, but regardless, like, like don't let that happen again. Or you know, if I'm Nick, I'm like, Kenny, if that happens again, we're gonna have to move on from you. Yeah, um, he did give him a boost of confidence after the game, though, um, and that's what you know, that's what good coaches do. Be very quiet. You know, that's what, rabbits. That's what good coaches do, though. <laughs> right. So, yeah, for sure, um, that's what we have here. Um, and just an alert coming back on another, you know, crumb. Um, James Harden did walkthroughs tonight, did the video stuff, and something like I don't know, he's ramping up to to return. So hopefully that's not a return here. James Harden participated in Sixers pregame walkthrough in video session set to practice Tuesday as ramp up continues. So uh, hopefully we trade him. Before, yeah, before he because you know, real quick, this bench with Uber is way better. 
You actually have a wing who can score off your bench, which I don't know if we had in 20 years. And the other side of it is you add you add another bench piece or two in a deal. This seems really good. I just think Maxie's really taking that step this year. I don't want James. I, I love Tyrese Maxi. Yeah, said it on draft him. night. I said it on draft night. I'm not right about a lot of shit, Wills. I nailed that on draft night. I said this is this is this is this is argument you got. If the if if COVID didn't happen, that dude's a top freaking seven pick. Definitely top, top ten. Top ten for sure. Because if yeah. he would have showed out in the tourney, you know that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You know it. Guard play in the tourney. Speed. Yep. You know, and, he, and the other side of it, he's a flat out worker and he gets better every year. He gets better every year, which you gotta yeah. love. He and looks great league, right now. All right, he look he looks sensational. Um they look good. They look good, they look better. Like I told you before, I like Tobias without Harden. You know, Tobias isn't a guy who can just sit around and hit an open three. He needs the basketball too to do what he's what he how he plays his best basketball. So whatever. I mean, you I mean you made a comment about how we don't like the NBA, but I I already told you. If we get rid of Harden, I'm back in. I'm back in. I'm back in on the Sixers boat. If we get rid of Harden, I I cannot. When we traded for him, I said it's a terrible move. He's a fucking career loser, and he still is. Get rid of it. I don't care what they get. Get rid of him. What up, Tim? Sadly what up, though, Tristan? in the sadly up, though, in the NBA, you gotta you gotta get somewhat salary match. So you gotta get something. Yeah, back. I'll take Levine because it's people no, talking I, Levine. Yeah, I just. Sadly, I don't like, the NBA, you can't I don't like Levine talk. either. He's a loser too, but I'll take him. Yeah, a little less of a loser in a weird way, but he's a loser. Um, all right, yeah. give me your crumbs. All right, I'm, mine's like, mine's not an individual person. It's more of a group crumb, but I've seen it yesterday two, in two different games. But God, I just want to put it like this. To, to college kids that are running on the field after your school wins a big game, if you're going to video yourself talking shit to the players that just lost as they're walking off the field. I hope someone destroys you. I hope one of them just levels the shit out of you. Don't do that. Every kid that's run on the field, go celebrate with your fans. Don't talk shit to the other team that just lost, that you just upset, that you had no, you just sat in the stands and watched get upset. Don't do that. Because that's number one thing of an absolute crumb move, number one. And number two, I am all for anyone on that team leveling the shit out of you. Yeah. Oh, good old FAFL, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Brown find F out. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, yeah, you're absolutely right, Wilson. And big, big FAFO world today, right? Everyone's, everyone's trying to F around and then more yep. people need to find out. Yeah. Exactly. And they find out that it's not social media out there. Can't just say whatever you want. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle back on the crumb real quick because Martian just oh, well, put you... it back in my head. Yeah, they're the crumb in a week. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. That's where I was going. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, Greg. Go yeah, ahead and go there. I, 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 I figured I, someone was gonna go there. I didn't I'm think you would the... do it. I didn't think you would do it to your to to your your other son. You know what I mean? I've always <laughs> been real. I've always been real. I might yeah. love the guy and I might try and grow my hair like him, but I've always been real when he when he doesn't perform. Grow your hair like him. Stop it, Craig. No, the, the, the Phillies and the Phillies' offense is an absolute, absolute crumb. Kevin Long and 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 uh, stop, the, stop. Get Kevin Long the fuck out of here. You. you know that that there you go. There you go, Daddy. What are we talking about? Talking Kevin about? Long don't go. Will Hold you on. let me finish? No, you just said Kevin Long before we Kevin even Kevin Long the play. and the highest paid players on this team. Why flat Kevin out Long going front? Why is Kevin Long going front? The highest paid players. That's, I'm always throwing him in there because the approaches were horrendous. Who makes the approach? I'm guessing Kevin Long. No, I'm guessing in the don't. hitting meeting. All right, fine. Throw Kevin Long out of there. The, th- okay. the four highest paid players, Kyle Schwarber, Nick Castellanos, Trey Turner, and Bryce Harper, choked in the biggest moments and the biggest games of, of the year. Flat out. No excuses. I don't care you hit a ball 117 or 107 miles per hour, and, you know, it, it didn't matter. It got caught. You had a little Sorry. excuse. You started with an excuse. Honestly, I feel no like excuse. it's the same. You, start, no you started with one. I wouldn't even bring up I'm Kevin Long. Right? I'm, I'm looking for things right now. that we're not playing right now. I'm I'm I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even bring up Kevin Long because, to me, they were doing the same <laughs> shit they did all, all postseason. They were swinging at, at – they were trying to swing early in the Absolute count. Absolute disgrace. But Arizona just wasn't throwing strikes, and we were still swinging. And we're still swinging. Yeah. And, you know, and, yeah. and during the regular season, you know, when you're down runs, you know, you, you kind of go away from – 
from, all right, you know, have a deep at bats, right? Wait, let's see a strike because they're pros, right? They're always hunting for pitches. But in the playoffs, in, in you know, the, you know, go home games, you need to have some, you need to have a, a plan, right? You need to see a strike potentially in the ninth inning. So you don't throw, you don't go down one, two, three, cluelessly in the ninth. It's just, it was, just, I'm still not over it naturally. It's just still a yeah, it's been a rough, that it's we're been not a rough week. Right now. It's been a rough week. It's the biggest collapse offensively I've ever seen in the history of watching sports. For guys that, for guys that, from where that, you went and, from to what you ended with, and for guys that pan or that not pander, but for guys who who claim that they're they're big player moments, you know, or they're big moment players, right? Kyle Schwarber, you're striking out seven hundred million times, came into play. Trey Turner reverted back to pre ovation. Trey Turner those last two games where he was swinging at everything and everything. Was either a homer or a strikeout. Well, it don't doesn't take, do us don't any take good. some credit away from our old fucking manager who deserves some 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 oh, shit he, as well because he, he did he not manage some, well either. He didn't. He got outmanaged as well. Absolutely, he did. got outmanaged. I think I think a couple of games. Yeah, he blew, he, uh, he blew game four. He blew game four. Uh, Everyone in the world knew Kimber was letting up runs as soon as he came in that game. If you watch him pitch any time in the last month, t- uh, terrible gonna, blow of game four. I'm gonna double and it probably down. costs us a series. Yeah, I'm gonna double down on you a little bit here. Um. You know, we we talked about Kimbrell's splits in Arizona prior to when he when he yeah, signed. Yeah, I was gonna say so. Exactly. Get your, get your book out, Rob. The other side of Game Four. The only thing I put on Rob is Game Four. Game Four is huge, huge. Yeah, game huge. Four. Game Four is where I got at Taiwan Walker. Maybe even three, fresh inning. but Game Four but, as well. Game Three is a, a not hitting, not yeah, hitting. True, true, okay? true, 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 true. So Game Four is Game Three is on the hitters. Okay. Game Four also a little bit on one of my stars that swings in a ball and hits the fucking second row. By, by our goddamn dugout with a runner on third and less two out to make it six two right i need that ball play jt okay because that relieves all pressure now it's on a saving situation okay the other side of this you need to know that my 35 year old closer threw 32 pitches the night fucking before and that he's probably not gonna be as fresh right probably not gonna be as fresh so i got a 72 million dollar arm sitting in it in the cover so why not after you go hoffman there now you run out walker yeah. All right. And if you lose, you lose. But I, like at the end of the day, you need a fresh bullpen. And at the end of the day, I only give Topper game four because realistically, they didn't get out managed. All right. Tori Lavelle went to what he did all year, like we did. He did what he did all year. Uh, right. Seawold, et cetera, should never <coughs> mow this goddamn lineup down. No. It's a flat out joke. It's a disgrace. Can't, can't We're acting like, oh, he but hides the ball. He does. hides the ball well. Fuck you. He hides the ball well. He thought he was 92. All right. Corey Seeger saw it pretty well. Yeah, don't miss me with the Ginkle. hide the ball well. Ginkle's a stud. The, no, the, no, of course he the is. Setup, Ginkle, the setup guy. Yeah, he's a stud. Don't miss me on Seawall and miss me on Castro, I think it is. Like, yeah. miss me on those two guys. All right, Castro couldn't throw a goddamn strike last night. All right, I'm not telling you he's not good. I'm just telling you we have piss poor ABs against piss a guy poor. throwing 92, and all I heard was how he hit the ball well. Shut the fuck up. He hit the ball well. He's throwing 92. You're going to see it again. If you can square up 99, you sure as hell should be able to square up 92. On a hidden ball trick. Mm-hmm. All right. The biggest collapse I've seen in Philly sports history. I don't give a shit what anybody says. And I'm honestly, saying- Tom, it was the same shit that's been our like every time that we played bad during this season, it was the okay. same type of shit. It was we're not getting hits with runners in scoring position. We're striking out way too much. And and we're and we're faltering in the bullpen. That was the last four games. But Marshall, you gotta fire everybody then, babe. You gotta fire JT Rel Muto. You got to fire Topper. You got to fire Kimbrel, right? So it's not just fire. It's not just fire Topper. And I'm not in the business of firing Rob Thompson right now. So you know, I, I love. Yeah, your... listen, it was a, it's a bad collapse. It's going to sting for a while. I'm not firing anybody, and I hope they come back with a fire next year. But right now, I'm upset. Listen, you saw, and I'll say it again. Anybody wants to listen? Because I'm not a fan of him. You know, like other people might be. Like I'm not like I don't crown the guy. But the law, the also Reese Hoskins showed itself. Showed itself. All right. I can't believe how bad, uh, especially how good he was against the Braves. How and bad he, Castellanos was in this series. Well, I just yeah, can't yeah. believe it. No, he was. He was typical. Nick. I'm a, he was. I'm amazed. He was guessing. He wouldn't even hit the ball. He wouldn't even hit the ball. No, he, he was guessing the ball. But game seven on Bryce Harper. You guys can like it or not. And if you don't know what play I'm talking about, then 
What I said that I said that in the post. I mean, show. I listen. I listen to the the game I said on, in the, on the radio, show. but I think he got. I need. I need him to get a hit in that big spot. No, I don't even care about that. We're, we're not even there. We're first. I inning. need. To, I need you to throw Corbin Carroll. You got to throw Corbin, Corbin Carroll out. He cannot. Yeah, oh, I mean, I, great, great I, pickoff I move. I can't really I can't tell what's it. happening on the on the radio. No, but, yeah, I get you. Let me know what happened. He just okay, Ranger had it picked off first. Ranger had it picked off at first. Harper throws the second, and he airmails it. Airmails it, yeah. It's not caught it, and too late. So yeah, I knew right from yeah, there they weren't ready. Cor- I know Carroll. you guys hate it. I'll leave you with this for Wills goes with his crumb, right? Because I won't get in Phillies. We can do oh, all I already that. gave my crumb. He already oh, gave yeah, his crumb. Yeah, you did, but you know I'm all in on Juan Soto, and I know you don't like it, Wills, but I'm in on Juan Soto and Reese Hoskins back. You want to get cute here? Let's get fucking cute. Let's get cute. So you want well if you want Juan Soto, then you keep Bryce at first. No, put him in left. Bryce goes back to right. Hoskins goes to first. What do you do with Nick? Trade Nick or Kyle, one of the two. Probably Nick. Okay. Maybe. But if they bring Reese back, then maybe I'm not all in on it. Although yeah. Dombrowski. I, I was gonna say, I mean, listen, that, if, if if you're gonna leave Bryce at first, then you can go, you can definitely sign an outfielder. Or you can platoon Marsh and Rojas still in – I don't know. I mean, listen, I have a feeling honestly, Rojas is going to start we know, in, the, in the minors. We know we like Rojas a little bit, but, I mean, another another guy who who he couldn't hit the – couldn't hit Woodward fell out of the boat the whole series, and he came up a lot with, with guys on, yeah. uh, which sucks. But, I mean, we know he's out there for his defense, but when he's up a lot with guys on and he's striking out every time, it sucks. So – I don't know. Do you look to upgrade there? I mean, I hear you. I feel like Soto could possibly play center. It's not great for him long term, but he could. No, yeah, he's, I, he's still so young. Is Rojas starts in the minors again. Yeah, Mars I would do that center. probably. Mars plays center. Mars had a good yeah. season. No, Mars is good. I like Brandon. Yeah, he had a good year. Mars should be there, and then again, then you just you you put you know either put Tuno or whatever, but you got it's, you got Soto in left and yeah, and Harper back in right. And if you, so Reese, and Tommy, if you have Reese, if you have Reese, if you have Reese, JT, and Turner, I'm okay with the lefties. You know what I mean? Yeah. What one thing though, uh Dombrowski did say in his press conference, he was Aaron was a, a priority, and it doesn't sound like anything about Reese, though. Like, uh he go, said go, the, people were give saying it, a it looks shot, like but, it looks like Reese is gonna be gone. That's yeah. what that's what people are expect, speculating. That was what people took out of that. And he said they're going to sit down and talk with Harper seriously about whether he wants to return to the outfield or not. Which sounds like they want to, they want to see if Harper will just stay at first. That's what it There's sounds like. Way more outfielders out there than first baseman, right? Yeah, he well, just keep and, and if you, I mean, you just back, get him. You, you get him Harper better. There. You get him better at first. He he was already playing it pretty well. You get him more acclimated to it, and it also would prolong his career. It's an easier position to stay healthy at. We all assumed he would he would end up there anyway. We just didn't think it'd be year four, four or five. <laughs> I mean, he could. What's good though is he could still be. He's, he's still a good outfielder, so he could still play the outfield if he needed him to. If something happens, something you know, something happens mid season. But it's tough to think about that now because we're just thinking about the collapse. But but yeah, I don't know. we'll see what happens next year. Obviously, uh, to me, it's Nola, and I know people are going to be like, you're going to think about game six and. And you're going to think about how you maybe don't really want Aaron Nola. But to me, Aaron Nola is a guy that you got to really consider bringing back. I would try to bring him back. He's thrown at least 180 innings in six straight seasons. I mean, that's the big thing to me. He's on the mound. Uh, yeah, he's and, he, and he has been good in the playoffs. He wasn't he had, great game six, but he's been good. Five 200 strikeout years. They don't I mean, fall he's, off he's, he's This guy, it's, it's not always green on the other side. It's tough to find a, a guy that's going to put up, that's going to be on the mound and put up his numbers. It's very tough to find. So. And if you and don't if, sign him, then you got to find you have to find another really good pitcher. So that's, that's the route we had, right? You don't sign him, then yeah. you got to spend that money yeah. elsewhere. Then you have to find then you have to find somebody. So, yeah, yeah, lot to talk about leading up with the Phillies. So, um, listen, great show, boys. Like always, yeah, yes, good stuff. Who we like good. tonight? Quickly, uh, I'm in on Quickly. the Chargers. So everybody go the other way. It's a lot of points, honestly. Brandon Staley doesn't deserve to give anybody that many points. Give me the best. I agree. But I can't think that Tyson Badgett is going to do it two weekend, two weeks in a row. His dad's a professional arm wrestler. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, everybody. It's been agreed. That's great. A2D Radio. <laughs> we were brought to you by our doc. Make him yours. Dr. Paul Vidal. Specialized Physical Therapy, LLC. Locations, Burlington, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Find them on the web. Specialized Physical Therapy, 
Com, and we're also brought to you by Royal Billiard. And make sure why this isn't working. The premier game room store of the Delaware Valley. They're stocked with the very best in pool tables, accessories, shuffleboard, dart supplies, card tables, bars, bar stools. Turn any ordinary room into an extraordinary gaming experience. They got hot tubs too. Stop by Royal Billiard, located 515 Bethlehem Pike in Colmar, PA, or visit them on the web royalbilliard.com and go check out our good friends over at Philly Sports Trips and book your Philly Sports package today. phillysportstrips.com is where you can find them. For Brian Wilson, Greg Mwakovic, I'm Tom Arnone. No sweeps tonight. Hopefully you won. Eagles won. 7-1. to one. It feels so good. We love you all for tuning in. What up, Marcus? I see you tuning in late. Go back and listen, baby. Sixers coming up here any minute, so Go enjoy some Sixers basketball. Maybe we get two wins today here in the city of Philadelphia. Get this Philly stench slowly off of us. Um, Hate him, Don. Who? James Franklin. Oh, yeah. Franklin's the loser. Don's just trying to get us to, to rant longer. Yeah, we love you all. We appreciate you. Great to 